I am in the Davis Mountains and I've been trying to do this video for a long time but a few months ago I was tagged by Vicki Van Gogh to answer some questions. She was tagged by somebody else and then she tagged me. I finally found some time to just sit down and record this video. I've already answered the question so I do have my laptop right here so I will be referring to it because I couldn't remember all of them. Some of these questions I really had to think about because, you know, your your tastes change over the years. Your favorites change over the years. So, of course, mine have. Some of them were from a long time ago, but they're still my favorite. The first question is, what is your first name? My first name is Jana, and, of course, everybody knows me as Frugal and especially on YouTube. Um, the second question is, where have you traveled? I have only traveled in the southern states of the United States. I've not been to California. I have not been to Louisiana or Alabama, but I flew into Florida for a business trip, so I wouldn't really call that um, I've been there, but I didn't really get to see a lot, mostly just the hotel. I've been to Tennessee, Arkansas, and then up to Arizona, Oklahoma, Nevada, that's about it. Outside of the country, I flew to Israel in 2006 and spent two weeks there. And um, growing up, my family and I used to go to Mexico and spend New Year's Eve there. So we've I've spent a lot of time in Mexico, just right across the border. The next question is, what is your favorite movie or movies? Now, I didn't know if or remember since the, the tag was so many months ago. I don't remember if you're supposed to do your top three or whatever. So I'm just going to include a list of my favorite movies, all-time favorites. Back to the Future and War Games, that's probably my most favorite movies and can watch Back to the Future anytime that it's on. Other favorite movies is the Titanic. I like the humor or the way that the Truman Show was done. It leaves you hanging till the very end. That's also a movie called The Telephone with Whoopi Goldberg. A musical, The Sound of Music. That was one of my favorites and I didn't see that until I was an adult and I love Julie Andrews so that is a favorite. Um, Schindler's List. My recent favorite is Wild. And I read the book, so that's going to be on my book list, too. And I always love Grease. Um, could watch that one over and over, too. Olivia Newton John and John Travolta. They just had a chemistry, it seemed like, in that, in that movie. But I really liked it. I'm a big fan of every Planet of the Apes movie and TV show. Seen all of them except the last one. Haven't seen it yet. Which just came out this year, I think. Another one would be The Breakfast Club. The Breakfast Club. Be The Breakfast Club. And I can't say that. Uh, and then there's a movie, Yentl, with Barbara Streisand. Also, The Time Machine. Not sure if anybody's familiar with that one, but. The next question is favorite books. Growing up, I hated to read, and I was also going to elementary school. I was in a learning disability class, so they pretty much told me that I had poor comprehension. So, of course, I hated to read. Until one day, I read, I loved Carol Burnett, and I read her book called one more time and that changed my life and now I read all the time. Another one that I read right after that it was like I felt like I was reading the wrong kind of books. I was reading more technical or um, so anyway the the next book after that I read was the Gilda Radner book and I don't remember the name of it um, when she was diagnosed with cancer and everything she went through with that. That was a very very good book. My new favorite recently that I read is called Big Magic and The Love Warrior. Some other ones of my favorite is The Green Mile by Stephen King. 
wild. I said that. The entire Left Behind series, I, wa I read every one of those books and couldn't wait until the next one came out. The Sin Eater, and I also saw that movie. And then there's a rabbi that I read. Um, he lived in the 17th century, and he wrote a book called The Way of God, um, or Derek Kishim, if you say it in Hebrew. And In This Present Darkness, that is another one of my favorites. The last one I'll talk about was a book called Dead Man Walking, and it's about a man that was on death row, and y'all probably know about the book. That's the only book that I've ever read that I cried and just sobbed deeply reading that book. So that's the only book I've ever cried at. So the next question, what are your favorite bands? I took this to mean, I mean, I use bands and individual people because I have my favorites. So I didn't just use bands, but my all time favorite band would be Heart. My second favorite would be Boston. My third favorite would be Journey. My other favorites is Fleetwood Mac, the Eagles, the B-52s, and then the last ones, these are individual people, Melissa Etheridge, Reba McIntyre, Pat Benatar, Prince, I think Prince is brilliant, and uh, Shelby Lynn. The next question is the song that best describes me. And I would have to say the song um, Superman by uh, Five for Fighting. I think that's the group. That's a long story, so I will continue on. The next question is what are your hobbies? This is one of those questions that have changed over, over the years um, as I've gotten older. I like to try different things and I've had lots of hobbies if you went back and looked at things I've collected, things that I've done, but, you know, that, I don't get bored, I'll just say that. So, I've messed around with the guitar, I, I can't really play, but I would, I've, one of these days I keep telling myself I'm going to learn how to play, but, um, hiking, camping, obviously, are my favorites, cooking, I love to cook, I love to cook outdoors, I love reading now, you heard that story, Painting and drawing, that's been my, my latest um, hobby, and really enjoying that. Um, journaling, any kind of writing. I've been reading the book called The Artist Way. I guess you could put that on my favorite books too. It is about writing every day. Writing three pages a day every day, just brain dump. So once you do that brain dump, then you can uh, work on things that are more creative. Fishing, I love to fish, and anything outdoors, so it doesn't even matter. And of course, my newest in the last year or two has been YouTube, so really like that. Really enjoyed all the people I've met through YouTube, so that's that's been fun. And let's see, the next question... And I don't know why anybody would ask this question, but it was, and so I'm going to answer it. It took me a long time to, to think about this. But when was the last time I peed in the woods? Why would you ask that question? But anyway, I had to think long and hard because, you know, I have a truck camper, so it has a bathroom, so I don't have to pee in the woods. So I had to really think about this one. It was probably back in 2006 when I was in Israel and we were on a bus tour and we stopped at the Jewish National Forest and yep, I had to go to the bathroom. So that's probably the last time I've peed in the woods. And so now I'm supposed to tag people and I don't really know who to tag. So if anybody wants to answer these questions. I'd love to hear the answers. I, I really like listening to that, but I will tag C. Wright. That is all the questions, and uh, sorry Vicki, I've been trying to do this for several months, and just now getting it done. It was fun. Made me think. I had to really think hard, and actually I asked a couple of friends to help me on this. Some of my friends that I've had for 
20 plus years so they kind of helped me through that so it was kind of fun to reminisce so anyway thank you and get outside see how beautiful it is it's wonderful get outside and go hiking <laughs>